Okay, it's Mr. Rops. And Mr. Co. And we're going to simplify rational expressions. And this one's going to be about adding and subtracting them. And the word rational is just a fancy word for fractions. Love fractions. Not a big fan of decimals, even though they're handy, but fractions are so much easier to work with once you get used to the basic operations. So let's go back to our basics. We're going to take 1 sixth minus 3 over 8. And what do we do to subtract these two fractions, Mr. Cole? Okay, so when we're adding or subtracting fractions, we need a common denominator. Mm -hmm. We try and get the lowest common denominator. So let's, a lot of you already will be able to tell us what the lowest common denominator is. Right. But let's maybe try and try and look at a, a way of f figuring it out. All right. I know this is 2 times 3. Okay. And this is 2 times 4. And so if I consider these factors, if they're repeated, I only need them once. So I only need 1, 2, a 3, and a 4. And so each factor is only used once. And so a 2 times a 3 times a 4 will be 24, which most of you could already tell was the lowest common denominator. So if I'm going to have 24 as my denominator, I have to multiply this by a 1, which is a 4 over 4. Yep. And this one by a... So 3 over 3. A 3, a 1. When we do that, I get 4 over 24 minus 9 over 24, which is the tops get subtracted, the denominator stays the same. And there is your fraction. Okay, we're going to try these with, with some expressions soon, aren't we? Yes. Let's okay. crank it up a little bit. Here is B question now. Let's say I have 3x plus 1 add... You got minus oh, a minus quarter. Minus a quarter. Subtract one quarter. So here, my lowest common denominator, what will that one be, Mr. Cole? Okay, so when things are added together, we have to treat them as kind of one, one factor, yeah? Mm -hmm. So x add one is a factor, and four is a factor. Right. So, so I have, go ahead. four times x add one. Super, so there's our lowest common denominator. So then our first term, to get that, I have to multiply by a funny looking one, that, which is four over four. Yep. And this side, I multiply it by x plus one over x plus one. Put it in okay. together. What's on the top? So we've got 12 over four x add one, four lots of x add one, minus x add one over four lots of x add one. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now we've got the same denominators, we can, we can put 12, be careful here, minus in brackets, I reckon. Oh, now why is it in brackets? I agree with you, but why? Because we need to make sure we take away all of x add 1. We don't want to just take away the x and add 1. We want to take away that whole, that whole expression. All right, great. And on the bottom, I get 4x add 1. Okay, just need to nut up a bit. Right. So 12. We're going to take away x, x. and also, we're also going to take away the 1. Distributing that negative sign through the parentheses. So it's like negative 1. Okay. And then the yeah. 4, I can multiply in here as well. I could say 4x plus 4. And so putting okay. it together then, I'll have negative x. 12 minus 1 is positive 11 over... And it's optional, in my opinion, whether you're going to leave it 4x plus 4 or 4x plus 1. Yeah, the denominator, that's, yep, yeah, I agree. Either way. Either way is just as simple. Okay. Okay, one more example to go. So this one says 1 over 5a minus 3 minus 4 over 2a. Right. And so let's find the lowest common denominator. What's that going to be, Mr. Cole? Okay, so I would say that's going to be 10a. 10a. Yep. So if we get 10a, to do that, I have to multiply this term by a 1, which is a 2 yep. over 2. 
This one by a 10a over a 10a. Yep. And this one by 5 over 5. So in doing that, I get... There it goes. What have we got? 2 over 10a minus 30a over 10a. Is that a minus? A minus. Yep. Um, 20 over 10a. And so I can put all this over 10a. Yep. And I get 2 minus 30a minus 20. Okay, so we can put together the ones that are just numbers. So 2 minus 20 is negative 18, and we've still got minus 30 A's over 10 A. Okay, can we do a bit of simplifying here? We can do some simplifying. So if you notice, these are all even. And so one of the things I can do from this top factor here is I can pull out a 2. And when I do that, I get negative 9 minus 15a over 10a. Okay, so we can cancel down the, the 2 and the 10. So, right. so if I look at this fraction here, which is 2 tenths, that can really become 1 fifth. And so I end up then with a negative 9 minus 15a over 5. Okay. And that is our final answer. Can we cancel the A's? No, because there's a minus sign there. If it was multiplied, I could cancel. Okay, so there's no there's no A with the nine, is there? We can't we can't divide everything by A. Right. All right.